Right, we're going. Are we going? Yes. Hello and welcome back to my vlog. I'm Martinette for those of you who don't know me. Today I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different. I'm going to give you my how-to steps of um, how to keep a succulent alive. For those of you who don't know, I'm really into my succulents. I've been growing them since January 2016, so about a year and a half. And yeah, I really enjoy it. They're so easy to look after. Hopefully with my tips, you can feel confident enough to go out and get one maybe if you haven't ever grown anything before. They're very easy to look after. Oh, my eyes like watering. Succulents are really easy to take care of. They're kind of like the cats of the plant world. You don't have to do a whole lot for them. To start with, I'm gonna talk about the main thing that you need for a succulent to be happy, and that is sun. I cannot stress this enough. If you don't put your succulent in a sunny room, they're not gonna be happy and they will probably die. If you ask the succulent, hey, would you rather have no sun and water or no water and sun, the succulent would tell you every time, I will take the sun and no water. Because the way that the succulents are, they store water inside themselves. So you don't need to give them that much of it. I think a lot of people, they kill their succulents by either putting them in a dark room or they just overwater them because you think that you need to water them every day or every second day. You actually don't need to do it that often. But I'll get onto that a little bit later. To start with, sun. Make sure you put them in the sun. I've got an example here. So this guy lives in my bathroom. It's a frosted window and it faces east, so he only gets morning sun. But as you can see, he doesn't look like he's having a hard time at all. He's got babies coming, <laughs> he's got babies. There's reproduction happening, which are these little guys here. Um, there actually were more of these, I actually cut them out and replanted them. So this is an example of a happy succulent. Even though it's not getting the full amount of sun that its brothers and sisters are getting in the lounge and in the kitchen where there's all day sun. It's still generally quite happy. I will show you also these. Do you see how there's the main part and then there's like extra leaves coming down here? That's the succulent trying to get more light into itself. The succulents tend to change shape when they don't get enough sun. So you can actually tell if they're not doing so well because yeah, they will change shape. If I compare this one with this one here, do you see the difference in shape? This one's got fatter leaves than this one. This one gets all day sun. This one's in the bathroom, only gets morning sun. Do you kind of see what I mean? Yeah. Cannot stress enough, sun. <laughs> Please don't put your succulents in a dark room. My mother-in-law, I gave her some succulents for Christmas last year and they were living in her kitchen where they get all day sun. But then she was getting some new appliances and things put into her kitchen so she moved them out of there and put them in her dark hallway area where there's absolutely no sun. And I think she must have left the succulents in there for too long because when she took them out back into the, put them back in the kitchen, they are almost a white color. Their leaves are falling out of itself. It's like, just falling apart, it looks really sick. That's what happens when you don't give them sun. They need sun to survive. They're like cactus. They're not cactus, JD. They're not cactus, I looked it up. But they are like cactus, they need a lot of sun to grow. Yeah, I'm gonna stop saying it now, but yeah, sun, very important. <laughs> they look really good on windowsills. Don't know if you can see that, but it's beautiful. When people walk into the room, they're like all these plants on the windowsills, it's really, really nice. But yeah, sun, good to go. The next thing we need to talk about is watering because that's the two things that plants need, sun and water. So in terms of watering, I personally only water my plants once a week. So I actually write down on my calendar when I've watered them so that I don't water them too soon or too late. I kind of just do it like on the same day every week. If you forget to water them, it's actually not a big deal. Like I said before, if you ask the succulent what it would prefer, it would prefer sun over water. You can probably not water it for two weeks, but I wouldn't probably leave it longer than that because they do need to have the moisture restocked. I wouldn't leave it too much longer than a week. I'll just bring the bathroom succulent as an example. I don't actually water the succulent at all because I have a shower every day. Uh, Lyndon doesn't always have a shower every day, but I shower every day. So steam from the shower, it goes onto the succulent and it actually absorbs that as it's water. I'm just a little bit wary of that and I don't want it like over water. I'll give it a little bit of water every now and then just into the soil, but generally this guy can live without being watered because of the steam in the shower is enough water for it to actually be happy and healthy. I'm surprised by how well the succulent has been doing. I didn't expect it to be growing this well. I thought that it would actually get sick and I'd have to move it into the lounge or into the kitchen again for more full sun, but it's actually doing really well, a lot better than I expected, so go with it. The other thing that you need to do for a succulent to really live a full life 
is to give it a pot with really good drainage. I've heard about people growing succulents in teacups. I do not recommend that. They really need a pot that the water can drain out of. So if you do accident of water them, they are not going to get root rot and die because that's another way you can kill your succulent is you overwater them and the water's got nowhere to go. If you grow a succulent in a teacup, where does the water go? If you've got too much water, it just stays there and it's not gonna go anywhere. The succulent's gonna be like, oh my gosh, there's so much water, I can't deal with this and it'll die. So I put my, I've got this aloe vera as well, which is actually a succulent as well. It's not a cactus, it's a succulent. Do you see how the pot has got this drainage saucer, which is attached? I recommend these kinds of pots. You can get them from Mitre 10, the warehouse, any kind of garden center. Really good pots to have. Again, pot with the saucer attached. You've seen the bathroom succulent, pot with saucer attached. They're so cute and they're so versatile. I cannot recommend these enough. Please don't grow your, your succulents in a mason jar or a teacup. Like, it's it's not good for them and they don't like it. If you ask me, please just don't do it. But if you, if you do really want to grow them in a teacup, you need to put, like, some big rocks in the bottom because that causes the soil to, like, not go all the way down and it does actually leave a little bit of room. Yeah, so that's kind of all I wanted to say. That's how you grow a succulent. Sun, water them once a week really nice pot, put them on the windowsill, put them somewhere sunny. That's all it really takes and you could have a million bajillion succulents like I do. But yeah, thanks for watching and uh, all the best with your succulent gardening, if that's what you want to do. And I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Bye.